shoes. I'm not sure. It's a Coach lot of shoes. saying Swift and, uh, and Webb were, I mean, Philly guys were. Yeah. Kind of they, they, they wear their designer shoes like every game. So yeah. it was like, they might be winning right now. <laughs> I came in on telling this, but, uh, you know, what's the, do you set this stuff out the night before what you're going to wear for like a dog walk or anything? Or Yeah. I mean, you kind of do. You Sometimes you even have two, seat, two suits because you will – Use one suit to walk over to the Georgia Center Hotel, then the next suit is what you will wear for a dog walk when you leave out. So you catch everybody else off guard, like the team and everybody else. It's like, dang, you had it on yesterday. <laughs> what would you, uh, a tough situation you had in South Carolina games, you're over there riding a bike rather than playing in the game and Georgia loses. How did you leave that game feeling? I mean, was it, was it the type of thing where you think maybe you could have gone or was it definitely a – yeah, you had no choice but to sit out and that maybe you could have made a difference. I'm just wondering. And uh, I, I kind of uh, – I like to think of myself as a tough guy. You know, I don't really like to say I'm hurt, even if I got, like, a little injury or something. I'm going to play through it. I'll never tell you I'm hurt unless you can see it. Um, really, me warming up on that bike, I was trying to see how I could go, if I can get it loose enough to go because that's how bad I wanted to play in the game. I don't, I've never missed a football game, so I didn't want to miss that one either. And so that, that really hurt me. And um, I was just – I was trying to see if I could go, and it was just no chance I had of playing in that game. My back was really hurt. Going back to the offense, um, you know, with all the concern and, you know, we're, we're dealing with the fans all the time, and, and there's, just, there's, there's just a lot of concern over what you guys are doing. And even though you had the rain last week, I think that kind of fed into it, no points in the first half. I mean, what would you say to, to anybody that, that does say, you know, they're really worried about, whether, you know, your ability to move the ball and put the ball in the end zone right now? Um, a lot of those situations, well, from Saturday, we had the outside circumstances like the rain, cold weather. I mean, the ball was wet. We couldn't throw it that deep. I mean, it's – I say this. I mean, it's just football. On any given day, you can be you can be beat by anybody. I mean, both of those teams are SEC teams. They're in the East. They got something to prove. We got something to prove. We all trying to win at the end of the day. I don't really think there's nothing else that factors into it. I what did uh, I just want to follow up on the back thing? Did you have to have a lot of stuff done, you know, to get? Like, do you feel fine now? And did you have to get a lot of work done to get back? You no, know, I just did condition? the regular, the regular treatment stuff: ice, heat, stem, um, massage, stretch. Sometimes they said my hamstrings was a little tight, so me stretching my hamstrings would help my lower back because it's all attached to the same to the pelvic area. So, I mean, I just did a lot of the treatment. It took about probably like four days to get completely back right. So, I mean, I was good by the time the next practice days came up on Monday and Tuesday. I was, I was ready to practice. I think what people think of extending the offense and stretching the opposing defense out, they think of throwing the ball downfield and stuff like that. But those outside zone plays you mentioned before, uh, what role do those play in kind of ex- extending the defense and opening up those runs up the middle too? I mean, it kind of keeps the defense honest. So if we run an outside zone, the, the linebackers got to come out the box a little bit. But And if our line is running that way, then of course we'll get the linebackers to flow. We're trying to get the inside zones to open up as well. But... Throwing the ball definitely opens up the runs, period. All runs, outside zone and inside zone. How are those outside runs like when you're running, I guess, a little more parallel to the line? How are those different than what your mindset might be when you're on an inside zone? In the inside zone, most of the time my reads, I'm watching the linebackers as I get the ball. But this time I'm watching my offensive lineman as I get the ball on the outside zone to see where he puts the defensive end or the outside linebacker on that end. But the inside zone is kind of easier sometimes because you are already looking at what's going on. You know where the double team's at most of the time. And on the stretch plays or the outside zone plays, you don't really have a double team. You, you just got to read one good block, and that's just going to make the play. Where does this uh, Georgia-Florida game fall for you? Obviously, you've had a lot of experience in it so far, and it's obviously very meaningful this year. Mm-hmm. Um, every game falls in the same category to me. I treat every game the same. No matter it's the first game, scrimmage game, practice, scrimmage practice. I treat everything the same. I go out there and I go hard every play. I don't ever want to put bad film or tape out there. Um, every game is a big game. Every game is a championship. The next game is the biggest game. Does it being in Jacksonville have a special feel to it by chance? Or? Nah. <laughs> it's just football. I mean, <laughs> if anything, it's just like – an NFL stadium, it doesn't look as decorated as a college, you know, but it doesn't feel any different. What do, what do you tell a guy like Eli who's never been there? Have you, you had a chance to no, give I, some of these newbies an idea of what this is? <laughs> you know, I haven't with? really thought about it. Like, I haven't thought about Eli hasn't been there yet. Well, I just say, I mean, when I do tell him, I just say it's red on one side and blue on the other <laughs> side. Yeah. I mean, it's loud in there, though. I mean, they got, they got, it's always a good game, I would say. 
getting back to this close thing that has me fascinated, uh, do, uh, do y'all have competitions between the running backs on who looks the best? Or did anybody show up one time and you were like, man, you look you look good today? Or yeah, it's kind of like every other game. Most Sometimes, basically, it's every game. We will walk like, oh, we got money. We got some, some good shoes right there. Or like some people have on like a trench coat, like uh-huh. suit. Like, it's, it's cool. I mean, we always try to come looking good we don't want to look bad but it ain't it's never like i'm gonna look the best today okay. it's just like i want to dress up nice i want to look presentable that makes you feel good walking through the dog walk and yeah. feel like you're ready to... you don't wear a suit every day when you put one on you got you dress nice you act nice you walk nice and it just feels good does it seem like